Okay, let me talk about, <clears throat> do vegans and vegetarians live longer or does, does it seem like their life seems like it's longer? Do they actually live longer than everyone else and are there claims that they're gonna live long by eating vegetarians actually pan out? If you listen to vegans and vegetarians, they will tell you that they are basically even invincible, they get no to heart, heart disease, they live longer than everyone else, and of course they're both morally, ethically, and intellectually superior than everyone else. What actually happens when we look at some of the actual studies that have been done recently, okay? Vegans and vegetarians love to point out that Okinawans, you know, have a diet that is high in carbohydrates and they live a long time. Uh, and and that, was, that has been true. Recently, the Okinawans, they don't live as long as the, the, the rest of the Japanese anymore. And one of the reasons that Okinawans lived a long time is one, they're a genetically homogenous population, so there's not a lot of variation in the genetics there. They live in a favorable climate. They have a very uh, strong cultural uh, ethic towards exercise activity, and they revere their older people, uh, and they don't eat a lot of processed food, okay? And so these Okinawans who are, again, living on an island, very isolated, very genetically homogenous, with very favorable lifestyle conditions, live a long time, but the interesting is they looked, they did a study on Okinawan centenarians. These are people who live to be over 100. And among all the people in Okinawa that lived over 100 that they studied, how many of them were vegetarians and vegans? Guess what? Zero percent. The only ones that lived really long were the ones that actually added meat. Now, it's interesting to note that Japan, the rest of Japan, has far surpassed the Okinawans in life expectancy. And what has Japan recently, in, in recent decades, increased dramatically in their diet? Well, guess what? They've been eating a lot more red meat. And, you know, again, this is all associational epidemiologic studies, which I don't put a lot of faith in. But this is what the vegan argument is. It's all based on epidemiology. Another cohort they like to use is the Seventh-day Adventist uh, data. And so who are they looking at here? So Seventh-day Adventists are, you know, obviously a religion who prizes not drinking, not smoking, not drinking coffee, getting regular exercise, um, a very healthy overall lifestyle, much better than the rest of the country. And they have a, you know, generally a longer lifespan than, than the average American does, for sure. There's no doubt about it. They do their data and they've compared different groups within that data and they show that folks that, that's geared towards more vegetarian uh, versus uh, a meat-heavy diet tended to live a bit longer and had a little less heart disease. Um, one of the more interesting findings from that study is the ones that lived the very longest were not the strict vegetarians and vegans, but those are the ones that included fish in their diet. Now you think about it when we talk about healthy lifestyles. If you are thinking about taking care of your health, you know, and what's important to you, you know, you're getting your exercise, you're not smoking, you're not drinking, and we're told that maybe fish is more healthy for us. So these are gonna select the most healthiest, health conscious people out throughout that, and the ones that an, end up adding the animal protein in actually live longer. Now the meat eating cohort, and, and what the study itself, if you look at the Seventh Day Adventist study, the, the, the second version, states in the body of the text, they said the vegans and vegetarians smoked less, they drank less, they exercised more as a general cohort. They try to factor that out. How well they factored it out, we don't know. They admit in their conclusions that those things may have a big effect on that as well, okay? In general, if you belong to religion and you, you know, and they, they promote veganism or vegetarianism, and if you don't do that, you're less likely to adhere to all those other uh, sort of uh, precepts of exercise, not smoking, not drinking. And so that's a very confounded study. Are there any other populations in the U.S. that are religious like that? that also live a long time, that also eat meat? Well, by yes, there is. There's a large Mormon population that has very similar beliefs when it comes to lifestyle, not drinking, not smoking, not indulging in caffeine, getting regular exercise, and they live just as long or longer than the Seventh-day Adventist, despite the fact that they eat meat, okay? So let's look at some of the more recent studies that have been done. A study just done in 2017 out of Australia on a very heterogeneous population. So there's all comers. There's no religious, there's no genetic isolation. There's no religious isolation. These are just all the people they can round up. They got near, more than a quarter of a million participants. This is much bigger than any of these other studies. The, the, the other studies have been looked at. And they found that vegans and vegetarians had zero, no benefit in overall mortality. They did not live any longer. 
Now they died of slightly different things. Maybe they died a little bit less of heart disease in some instances, but they still die just at the same rate. So instead of dying of a heart attack at 80, they get cancer or they get dementia or they get or they kill themselves because they get suicide, you know, they become suicidal or they get infectious illnesses. So it doesn't confer any length length of, to their life and they still die of, of something. Uh, Epic Oxford study, 2016, I think. Again, looked at about 65,000 people in England, same findings, vegans and vegetarians, no benefit to, to overall life expectancy. So when you take a heterogeneous group, you know, and you don't isolate, you know, either geographically or by lifestyle factors, you know, things start to share, show out that uh, vegans and vegetarians do not live any longer. It's all a bunch of uh, BS. That's what they love to use that epidemiology to uh, pronounce that fact. Let's look at some some countries, for example. Life expectancy of India. India and, and Bangladesh, Pakistan are some of the uh, biggest vegetarian places on the planet. In fact, they are. There's more vegetations there, vegetarians there than anywhere else on the planet. Their life expectancy in India is about 68, if you look at the latest uh, World Health Organization uh, stats. Contrast that to France, contrast that to Italy, contrast that to Sweden, contrast that to Iceland, contrast that to Japan, who live over 80. And these are meat-eating countries and often heavy meat eaters. And so, uh, you know, why aren't the vegetarians in India living the longest? Because vegetarianism and veganism does not promote longer life. What does promote longer life is exercise, uh, access to health care, uh, wealth in the society, um, climate to some degree, um, you know, and diet has less of an impact on that, okay? Additionally, another study looking at, you know, because one of the things they point out is saturated fat increases your risk of heart disease. I've linked, and I've linked a number of these studies in the, in the description here for the vegans that complain that there's no studies all the time. But look at those, read those over. But there's another study looking at uh, the, the link between saturated fat in the diet and heart disease, and it shows there is no evidence, after looking at meta-analysis of number of randomized control trials, there's no evidence that, that that's true. So again, this is vegan propaganda. They don't live longer. Maybe it seems longer to them because they're eating all this kale all the time, and that may make life seem long. But they don't actually live longer, okay? So next time you're getting a vegan trying to preach about how they're going to live longer, tell them to look at the uh, 45 and up study from Australia. Tell them to look at the Ep Epic Oxford study out of out of uh, out of uh, the United Kingdom, uh, and stop referencing this biased single uh, religion or you know uh, genetically homogenous population like the Okinawans. Okay, and remember, the the longest lived Okinawans ate meat. The longest lived Seventh Day Adventists ate fish. So, anyway, think about that. While you're thinking about that, cook yourself up a nice steak and enjoy it. All right. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Take care.